January 2018. In the article I wrote for the January 2018 issue of this newsletter, I told you that you need to keep those things in mind, if you want to know the truth with regard to the message of the scriptures. But I said you also need to know the creation of Jesus Christ in the image and likeness of God, is the very focus of the scriptures in which God has revealed his plan and purpose for the salvation of mankind. His fulfillment of that plan began with the resurrection of the man, Jesus Christ, in his own image and likeness, and it will conclude with the resurrection of all male and female believers, in that same image and likeness at the end of the age. That is the truth regarding the parabolic image of the new birth, by which one becomes a child of God. But only those who believe the truth here at the end of the age, will participate in that event. Everyone else will be discarded. I went back to the beginning of the biblical account of God's plan of salvation, and recounted the things you need to know and believe, if you intend to be one of those who participate in the resurrection of the righteous at the end of the age. I told you the story begins immediately after Adam and Eve admitted their sin to God. At that time, he gave them the promise that they could be created in His image and likeness, if they would merely believe the promise and hand it down as an inheritance, so that others would have opportunity, to believe it as well. I also reviewed the things I explained in The Inheritance of the Believer, Volume 1. I told you the genealogies in Genesis chapters 5 through 11, are an account of how Abraham came to be the heir of the promise. And the remainder of the book of Genesis tells us how Abraham handed down the promise to his son Isaac, and Isaac handed down the promise to his son Jacob.